Hello everyone. This is the first time that I've decided to actually record a video and not put any fancy edits or anything like that on there because I'll be honest with you, sometimes it is a pain in the ass to have to go through and edit an entire video and go back and try to be like, oh, did I say something bad here? Or, oh, did I say something that could be like something that nobody really wants to hear here? And I just figured I'd talk about just something that I've thought about for a little bit. I've been watching Asmongold a lot more on YouTube and there's a lot of videos that I wish that I would have seen whenever I was you know really starting to get into the mindset of oh hey I really want to do YouTube I really want to push some videos out and do things that I'm wanting to do and everybody's gonna like it and everybody's going to give me all sorts of praise because whatever I like everybody else has to like and I have watched a lot of his videos that he would just talk down to a phone camera kind of like what I'm doing right now with this one I'm actually borrowing this from, from my friend I'm it, hanging out at his place right now and I know everything's a mess but this is more or less an office than it is a living space so keep with that information as you will um, I wanted to do some like t sit down talking videos like this because I feel like that if I can at least convey some of the things that I am wanting to say in a shorter more mobile video then maybe you know I can possibly get whatever is jumbled around in my head out and then uh, you, you know just not have to worry about doing all these cuts and stuff because every time that I cut certain things out I'm like man I wish I would have just said what was on my mind and just dealt with it and not try to put some sort of spin on it or whatever to make it seem more interesting anyway I've been watching a lot of Asmund Gold videos whenever he's been doing his sit downs and just talking about certain things. And I've realized that I've had a lot of those same issues that he's brought up in those videos. He's brought up some stuff about criticism and it, honestly, it, everything that he was saying about criticism and how he handles it, I wish that I would be able to handle that <laughs> a lot more than what I've been doing currently with this channel. There's been a lot of comments that I've been getting and a lot of things that people have been saying that, you know, it for some reason it really gets to me and I feel like that if I want to continue doing this then I can't be that thin-skinned person that can't really handle the criticism and I, I hate that I had fallen into the trap of like people saying certain things to me and then I would jump down their throats and then uh, you know try to be the morally high one that I think I would be but I'm really not being that way because all I'm doing is just responding to a comment that doesn't really make any sense. Asman had said something about whenever people say negative comments about you, just kind of put it in file 13 and just move on to something different. Those comments don't matter. And that really resonated with me because I'm like, you know, I wish that I could do that. I, I need to do that a lot more. And I'm tired of pretending like, oh, all these comments are going to get to me and like it doesn't bother me and uh, like it's something that I need to respond to. But in reality, I need to stop mentioning anything to those people whenever I see those comments. I posted certain videos. I had another body cam video up and I ended up deleting it because some of those comments were starting to get to me because some people didn't really like some of the things that I said, which I completely get. Everybody has their own opinion and they have the right to their own opinion. And I think that I, I let that get to me too much and I didn't let everyone, you know, kind of see what I was thinking about it. Not a lot of people hated it. Not a lot of people liked it either, but there was still, you know, some things that were bothering me with it. And so I ended up taking it down. And to be honest with you, I kind of regret it. Plus, I've also had comments that people would say like, oh, oh, you're fat. Oh, your room is a mess. Oh, uh, your bed is unmade or hell, there's probably going to be a comment about me hanging out in here making this video like oh why are you in such a messy space oh why this oh why that and you know to be honest with you I'm tired of dealing with those types of comments and or at least dealing with them in a certain way I don't want it to seem like I'm tired of dealing with those comments so I'm gonna start doing like these hate threads and stuff like that now I, I don't care and I think that if I would just stop caring so much about certain things that people say then maybe I could at least have a better mindset whenever it comes to YouTube and my personal life. There's a lot of things that people have told me in my personal life that have really like hit me pretty hard. Like for instance, there's this one girl that I was trying to talk to a while back and 
uh, or at least try to say hi, you know, try to engage with a conversation. And she didn't really like my appearance because I had long hair and just the mustache. And it was a pencil thin mustache because I usually trim it. And I'll be honest, it looked like garbage. And she happened to say that I looked like garbage. And she said I looked like way older than what I was saying I was, which I'm 28 years old. I know that for a lot of people it doesn't seem that way, but I am. I was born in 1995, so, you know, do with that information as you will. And it really bothered me, and, like, I I was just so angry. I'm like, well, you know, I'm going to start reporting her. I'm going to do this, and I'm like, why? She's not worth it. She didn't want to talk to you. She said what she had to say. She made a bad comment, and you just need to let it go. And I feel like that... That can also apply to some of the comments that I would get, but besides talking with that woman, uh, I can apply that to regular life, and I can apply it to YouTube life. Whenever I get all these comments, whenever people are saying, oh, we know you're not with anyone, or, oh, we know you're a fat piece of shit, or whatever, it's just like, wow, I really let some of that shit get to me, and I, I could not believe that I let that get to me. And unfortunately, it's just a part of the internet. And Zach is even, Zach Asmongold, I should say. But Zach, he said that, you know, that's just how everything goes on the internet. You have to just deal with the punches, put up with the bad comments, and if you let it get to you, then there's not really any point of you posting anything on the internet. Because these people are going to exist everywhere. These people are always going to have something to say. They're always going to have something that they got to put their two cents into. And it, it's just, it, that's just how it's going to be. Now, do people deserve the criticism that a lot of the people say? Uh, it depends on what it is. If people are talking about your appearance or if they're talking about like, if just basically like if you're ugly, if uh, your room looks bad, or, you, you know, you, you've got too many soda drinks in the background, or, oh, uh, you're, you, you know, whatever, similar to that. A lot of those comments just don't really matter. And I hate that I was starting to get into the mindset of, oh, well, I'm, I'm just going to be mad, and I'm going to reply to these people, oh, do what you want, do what you want. Ah, it, that that's not something that I should have really engaged with. So, in my opinion, what he says about, you know, just banning the people about certain things you, you don't want to talk about, I think that that's probably the best course of action that I'd like to go with. And I think a lot of people should go along with that as well. Whenever you don't want to talk about something or you don't want to interact with someone or something, it, it's just, it's best to just get rid of it. And of course, people are going to still bring up certain things. Like, I know that I've told everyone I don't want to react to the Skibbity Toilet series on my channel anymore, which is still true. I don't want to react to it anymore, and I hate that, you know, people are going to get this impression like, oh, well, you were going to react to it all the time, and now you're not going to do it anymore? Well, there's no point in me sticking around, because that's what I came for, and if you're not going to do it, well, then fuck you. Well, honestly, you can do as you wish, and I wish that I would have been able to keep that in my head, like, okay, well, people aren't going to like this, and, you know, that is just how it is. That's how the internet's going to be. And I just need to keep doing what I want to do. So I, I think that if people would actually listen to some of these creators that have been on here for a very long time, especially because he's been on here for 15, 16, 17 years, however long it's been, I think that a lot of the advice that these creators give is good advice. I don't think that a lot of this advice that they say, oh, you got to just deal with the punches. you got to just you know, go through with whatever it is that people are throwing at you. I, I, I think that's a lot of good advice. Now, the bad advice is whenever people are saying that you have to go on there and respond like, oh, you called me fat? Well, your mother looks like a whore. <laughs> you know, something stupid. I, I, I don't think that people should go around making those types of comments. But I do feel like that if you want to make content on the internet, then you have to deal with the punches and go through and just be like, hey, you know what? I don't know these people. They don't know me. They don't know my struggles. They don't know whatever it is that I'm going through. I don't know what it is that they're going through. And honestly, if I tried to jump back in with it, it's just going to make things worse. And it's just going to make people even more upset than what they already think they are. And so it's just not worth 
anyone's time. It's not worth anyone's time and effort. It's not worth my time and effort. It's not worth your time and effort. So honestly, whenever it comes to certain things online, I think just ignoring it, banning people who just can't stop talking about it or whatever, I think that that is a good idea. And I think that that's kind of what I'm wanting to do moving forward. And I think that a lot of content creators who are in the same position as me or at a higher position than me, because of course I'm just at 1300 subscribers. Like I'm still at the low end of the totem pole, but for the content creators who are underneath where I'm at right now, I think that they could benefit from that too, because a lot of them I've noticed they've, put certain videos up and as soon as people don't like it or if they have like 15 dislikes compared to three likes and they're just like well it's a shitty video i'm going to delete it and i don't think that people should think that way i think that if it's something that you put your hard work and effort into and you think that people will enjoy it even if it's a small audience or a big audience whatever you should at least post it and if you think that it's right then definitely post it I thought that there were a lot of things that I thought right in my com or, or excuse me, not in my comments, but in my content that I've posted. I thought that there were a lot of things that I thought were right. And I wish that I would have kept a lot of that content up, but because of the bad comments that I had received, I just, I, I, I deleted it. It took it off of the face of the planet. And it, it's something that I truly regret. And I wish that you know, I would have just left it up and, you know, heard the criticism, heard what people had to say. And if it was something that was worth the criticism, you know, I would take accountability for that or take action for whatever I think that I should do better next time. Or if it was just something stupid like, oh, hey, you're a fat piece of shit and you're in, in, living in a shed and stuff like that. Well, then it, tell me something I don't know. If you want to make a critical like thing about me, Tell me something that I don't know, to be honest. Like, if there's something that you really have a problem with with me, then tell me something new, at least. And then that way I can laugh at it and be like, ha, that's funny, uh, you're banned, and then just move on. Because, like, just, it, it it's all just ridiculous crap anyway. People don't really know exactly what it is that they're wanting uh, uh, to convey. Like, even now, I'm still trying to stumble over my words to figure out what I'm wanting to say to everybody. <laughs> I'm trying. This is the first time I've done this kind of video in a very long time without any edits, so I'm trying. But I think that there's a lot of anger and frustration that people want to just bring out online because it's away from the real world. And whenever they see someone who is not anything that they like, they, they want to try and pick out every single flaw. And I, I need to just roll with the punches, and I think a lot of other people should roll with the punches too. So, yeah, I... I just wanted to talk about that because I, I felt pretty inspired by Asmongold and, and I would definitely encourage everyone to go subscribe to him. Whether it's gaming stuff that you like because he plays a lot of World of Warcraft and different types of, uh, you know, MMOs and stuff like that. Or if you enjoy his reactions because he's been doing that a heck of a lot more. And I, I definitely enjoy his reactions on everything that he's been doing. In fact, I'm re-watching whenever he reacted to the dark, sad life of Boogie2988, that, <laughs> it was funny. <laughs> it's still hilarious to this day, and I've already watched it, but I, I just, I couldn't help but watch it again. I would definitely encourage everyone to go and subscribe to him, because even if you don't like his takes, a lot of what he says is pretty well true. And if you guys think deep down that something is true to you, or if you guys think that whatever it is that comes into your head is the right thing, whether anyone else thinks it's right or not. If you think it's right, then you should definitely express your emotion and be like, this is what I think is right. If you guys don't think it's right, well, you're entitled to your own opinion, but this is what I think is right. And that's what I'm going to go by. So I just figured I'd put my two cents out there. Thank you again, Zach, for the videos that you put out. I'll link his channel down in the description so that way you guys can go and subscribe if you would like to. And uh, yeah, I just I, I just want everyone to, you know, stay a level head. People will always come after you about something, but all you got to do is just brush it off and move on. That's all you got to do. So thank you for listening to me ramble for a while. I'm going to try and get a gaming video out here pretty soon. It's one that you guys will more than likely like. And if you don't, it's all good. I'm not worried about it. Thank you guys for listening, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.